I'm 3 News Now's Isabella Basco. We're facing a global diesel shortage, and local truck drivers are telling us about the impact. Sarah Stewart, a driver for Hill Brothers Transportation, travels a route spanning five states, starting in Nebraska and ending in California. Right now, she's trying to conserve as much fuel as she can, running at a lower speed, but with a diesel shortage looming. When you're a lease purchase driver, you rely on running every week. You rely on, you know, the fuel. You rely on, you know, having that paycheck so you can make your truck payment every week. But now if we're going to have a fuel shortage, we're not going to be making that paycheck and run our trucks. The shortage not only causes stress for drivers, it could make everything on the shelf more expensive for customers. Hill Brothers General Manager Robert Sauer says as his drivers pay more for fuel, shippers have to pay those surcharges and the shippers have to recover those costs, making its way down to the consumers. And until I think we can get some, some relief from this, uh, that's going to continue to put pressure on those prices, which we're all, you know, we trying to get those prices to come down and limit inflation. Nick Hall works for ProFleet CDL Driving Academy, a truck driving school in Omaha. His biggest fear, tuition at the school could increase by $500 to $1,000 if a diesel shortage persists. It's one of my highest operating costs is supplying diesel for my trucks because they use it every day, all day long. And the more we use, the more it costs the school and the school has to recover the operating costs somewhere. Whenever Stewart prepares to go on her route to deliver goods to California, there's always one fear that's lurking in the back of her mind. Every week that I'm out on that road, it scares me. I'm, I am afraid that we're not gonna have fuel when we're running and say, for instance, we get out to California. Well, there's no fuel. We're stuck there. We don't have, we don't know what to, you know, we don't know what we're gonna do. In Omaha, Isabella Basco, 3 News Now.